Look at this image. This is Howard's artery, choked with plaque, a ticking time bomb. And this, the same artery, just five weeks later, after using a treatment that Big Pharma is desperate to keep under wraps. In the next 15 minutes, I'm not just sharing information, I'm handing you the keys to potentially reverse years of arterial damage. You'll discover the exact protocol we use to melt away calcification, something mainstream medicine claims is impossible. Don't even think about clicking away. What I'm about to reveal isn't just game changing. It could be the difference between life and death. Your heart can't afford for you to miss this. A soft artery plaque typically contains 30 to 50 percent lipids, including cholesterol esters, free cholesterol, phospholipids, and triglycerides. 20 to 30 percent cells, such as foam cells, smooth muscle cells, T lymphocytes. 15 to 25 percent extracellular matrix, such as collagen, elastin. Uh, proteoglycans, 5-10% to inflammatory mediators such as cytokines, growth factors, 10-20% to necrotic cores such as cell debris, cholesterol crystals, and 20-30% to water. A calcified artery plaque typically contains 20-30% to calcium phosphate combination, primarily as hydroxoapatite crystals, 20-40% to lipids including cholesterol, 20 to 30% proteins, including collagen, elastin, matrix GLA protein, and bone formogenetic proteins, and 30 to 40% water. So the question is, what initiate the process? Do we blame anything in specific? So imagine your arteries as a highway for your blood. Over time, factors like high blood pressure, processed foods, and inflammation can actually damage the inner lining of these highways. This damage allows LDL cholesterol to sneak under the road surface where it ends up being stuck and oxidizes. Your body sends in repair crews, white blood cells, that try to clean up. They get stuck as well and end up forming foam-like buildups under the roads. Muscle cells from deeper in the artery wall join in, producing materials that form a cap over this growing mess. The result is soft plaque, like a water balloon stuck to your artery wall. Dangerous because it can rupture and cause a heart attack or stroke at any time. As this process continues, your arteries can also start to harden, like pipes becoming encrusted with mineral deposits. This calcification begins with ongoing inflammation irritating your arteries. Your body's balance of calcium and phosphate can get disrupted, forming tiny crystals in your arteries. The muscle cells in your artery walls may start behaving like bone-forming cells, contributing to calcification. Your body's natural defenses against this process can weaken over time. Now, both of these processes, soft plaque formation and calcification, can occur simultaneously or separately gradually transforming your once flexible arteries into stiff, narrowed passages. This makes it harder for your arteries to function properly, potentially leading to various heart and circulation problems. And in many cases, soft plaques can indeed progress to become calcified over time. This is often seen as part of the natural history of atherosclerosis. As plaques mature, they can accumulate calcium deposits, gradually becoming more calcified. But it's important to note that calcification can also occur independently of traditional soft plaque formation. Some people may develop calcified arteries without going through the typical stages of soft plaque development. Many plaques are actually mixed containing both soft, lipid-rich areas and calcified regions. The composition can vary widely within a single plaque and between different plaques in the same person. And the progression from soft to calcified plaque is not uniform and can take years or even decades. Some plaques may calcify relatively quickly while others remain predominantly soft for long periods. Various factors can influence whether and how quickly a plaque becomes calcified, including age, genetic, presence of certain diseases like diabetes or chronic kidney disease, 
and medication use. So while soft plaque are often considered more immediately dangerous due to their potential for rupture, heavily calcified plaques can also pose risk by making arteries less flexible and potentially obstructing blood flow. So what if I told you there's a groundbreaking treatment that could potentially reverse heart disease and save millions of lives? Today, we're diving into the revolutionary world of cyclodextrin. I don't want to call it a cholesterol-busting molecule because cholesterol is very important to our bodies. But what causes the initial process is the oxidization of LDL. So rather say it as the oxidized LDL-busting molecule that's changing everything we thought we knew about cardiovascular health. So stay tuned because what you're about to learn could be a game changer for you or someone you love. I will also share the necessary blood work for soft plaque prediction. Then we'll move on to the calcification, removal, and reversal, not halting the progression. If you've watched that far, please continue as I will give you the full guide from my new ebook that have not been launched yet. So let's start with the sobering fact. Cardiovascular diseases are the number one killer globally, claiming nearly 18 million lives each year. That's one in three deaths worldwide. Despite advances in medicine, our current treatment have limitations. Statins, while effective at lowering cholesterol, can't remove existing plaque buildup. Surgeries like stenting, and bypass are invasive and don't address the root cause. Current treatments focus on slowing down this buildup, but what if we could do much more? But what if we could actually remove these dangerous plaques instead of just slowing them down? That's where Cavadex comes in. So Cavadex is a type of molecule called a cyclodextrin. Think of it as a molecular scoop designed by nature. Cyclodextrins have a unique structure. They're shaped like a cone with hydrophobic, interior and a hydrophilic exterior. This makes them perfect for capturing cholesterol and other lipids. When HPBCD enters the bloodstream, it actively seeks out and captures cholesterol molecules, including those embedded in arterial plaques. It doesn't just work on free-floating cholesterol, it can actually extract cholesterol from the plaques themselves. This is revolutionary because it means HPPCD can potentially reverse atherosclerosis, not just slowing it down. It's like having a molecular cleaning crew for your arteries. So let's look at a real-life example of cyclodextrin potential. Meet Howard, a 66-year-old truck driver who was struggling with severe leg pain due to blocked arteries. He couldn't walk more than 60 meters without experiencing intense pain. After just five weeks of treatment, Howard's life changed dramatically. He could now walk 400 meters, nearly seven times further, without any pain. The pins and needle sensation in his fingers and toes also disappeared. Now, our story isn't just about improved mobility. It's about regained independence and quality of life. The results we're seeing aren't just anecdotal. Let's look at the hard science behind cyclodextrin. The most compelling evidence comes from clinical studies. Let's look at some remarkable results. These images show the right coronary artery of a patient's before and after cyclodextrin treatment. The reduction in plaque buildup is clearly visible, resulting in improved blood flow. In terms of numbers, this aims mostly on cholesterol, which is not a big deal, but total cholesterol dropped by 48% in just 17 days, triglycerides decreased by 68%, LDL cholesterol reduced by 52%. But it's not just about cholesterol. HPBCD treatment also improved liver function, markers, and reduced inflammation. Importantly, 
HPBCD has shown an excellent safety profile. Unlike many medications, it's non-toxic and works locally in the arteries without affecting the entire body system. So that said, let's address some common questions about HPBCD. Number one, how is HPBCD administered? It's typically given as enema. While this might sound uncomfortable, it's actually a more effective delivery method than oral pills, allowing for better absorption and target action. Number two, are there any side effects? The most commonly reported side effect is occasional loose stools, which is more related to the enema process than HPBCD itself. No significant adverse effects on liver function or hearing had been observed. Number three, how long does treatment last? Treatment duration varies based on individual needs. Some patients see significant improvements within a few months, while others may bef benefit from long-term use. Number four, can HPBCD replace my current heart medication? The supplement is not designed to replace any other medication, but it's always good to consult me before making any changes to your treatment plan so this way we can wean off correctly number five is hpbcd fda approved while hpbcd is recognized as safe by the fda it's currently not approved specifically for treating atherosclerosis more large-scale clinical trials are still needed. Now, I'd like to share my personal experience with HPBCD. Now, as a healthcare professional, I was initially skeptical, but faced with severe coronary artery disease uh, almost back 10 years ago, I decided to actually give it a try. And so far, after a week and a half treatment regime, my coronary angiography showed a significant reduction in plaque, roughly only about 2%, but my cholesterol levels improved dramatically, and I experienced no significant side effects. So this personal journey from skeptic to believer is what drives my passion for sharing this information with you today, and I'll be posting another video within about 30 to 90 days with different improvements. So look at HPBCD isn't just about treating heart disease. This is about revolutionizing how we approach cardiovascular health. The potential of HPBCD extends far beyond just coronary artery disease. Researchers are exploring its use in stroke prevention by reducing a plaque in carotid and cerebral arteries, HPBCD could significantly lower stroke risk. In peripheral artery disease, improving blood flow in lymph arteries could reduce pain and prevent amputation. Uh, aortic health, reducing plaque in the aorta could prevent aneurysm and dissections. However, we're still in the early stages with more than 16 patients so far have started the program since my last video on Cavidex. So let's go back one step. Remember when I mentioned that 20 to 40% of calcification is lipids? So this product is capable of removing a total of 20 to 40% of the lipids from the calcification. Then we are left with 60% calcium phosphate, proteins, and water, and these will go back to homostasis level with our natural diet intake. Now, if you're intrigued by the potential of HPBCD, here's what you can do. One, educate yourself on this product. I did input the link below within the description. Two, discuss whether HPBCD might be a suitable option for you or your loved ones. By booking an appointment with me, we can discuss and go over your blood labs, NCAC scores, and soft plaque inflammation. Three, share this video with friends and families who might benefit from this information. Four, and don't forget to leave your questions and experiences in the comments because your inputs helps drive the conversation and future research. Five, of course, subscribe to my channel for the latest updates on HPBCD and other cardiovascular health breakthroughs. Remember, 
Knowledge is power when it comes to your health. So let's recap what we've learned. HPBCD is a revolutionary molecule that can actually remove arterial plaque, not just slow its formation. Clinical evidence shows significant reductions in cholesterol levels and visible improvements in arterial health. HPBCD shows promise in treating various forms of cardiovascular disease. And the potential impact of HPBCD cannot be overstated while we're talking about a treatment that could save millions of lives and dramatically improve quality of life for countless others. So as we stand on the brink of this cardiovascular revolution, remember, your heart's health is in your hands. Stay informed, stay proactive, and together we can beat heart disease. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the future of cardiovascular health. Until next time, keep your heart strong and your mind open to the possibilities of science.